What do you do when you have the power to stretch your arms in any direction? You take people's toilet paper away when they desperately need it. It's that simple. Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kian, and I have the power to stretch my arms. And I'm going to use said power to borrow this guy's suitcase. It's mine now. I... I... I don't even know, like, what is so interesting about, like, a briefcase. It's probably full of a bunch of books and, like, papers that make no sense to someone who doesn't know what those papers mean. Okay, so we can use, like, objects to basically bend our arm in completely different directions, which is, like, insanely painful looking. I don't even want to, like, imagine what that would feel like. Not only stretching your arm, but then like bending it over. Gosh, okay, just stop thinking about it. Just stop thinking about it. When I was like 13, I hyperextended my my elbow, like basically bent it the opposite direction that it's supposed to go. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting right now. This dude loves carrots. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Like, can I take my arm. Well, no, if I go straight for it, I feel like a dog is going to come out. Oh. I thought I thought a dog was going to come after me. But I was thinking like what if Hold on, hold on. Try this again. What's going on with the fire hydrant here? So, can I go around the fire hydrant? I I guess I don't I guess you have like multiple options. I'm going to grab this sign. No, I'm not going to grab the sign. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Next level. We're in Paris or Las Vegas, like the fake Paris. What do we do here? I, I guess we can use the fire hydrant to go under the dude, or can we use the balloon to go over? Oh, you got to go through. Okay. Don't oh, careful. 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 Ah! Uh, oh my gosh! Dude's hair is a literal weapon. He he was ready. He knew what we were up to. All right, we'll go down. We'll, we'll go this way. That's the play right there. No, come on. Okay, can I use the Eiffel Tower? Like, how far can I stretch my arm? That's just ridiculous. Are you crazy? All right. <laughs> it worked. Perfect. A suitcase full of clothes that aren't even my size. You're going to rob the robber? Is that what's happening? I guess. Can I go this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're good. You're good. No chance. <laughs> I love that. Oh, interesting. So I'm pretty sure the crab is going to be a problem. But can I just go straight for it? Just when the crab's not looking. There you go. Problem solved. Pearl's mine. This guy is so proud of himself because he has a key to the door. So do I have to reach over the door and grab the key like off of his belt? I guess I'm going to try. But I can't. I can't touch him. Okay. He had no idea how powerful my stretching abilities truly are. <laughs> Smashing the door open. That looks unbelievably painful. All right, I have a plan. That is a huge diamond, by the way. Like, how, how is she even going to wear that? Just, like, wear it around her arm. Look at, look at the size of that ring. Anyways, let's go all the way around here and just yoink. I'm just going to borrow that. Why are you drooling, you weirdo? What am I looking for? I'm looking for treasure, because because I'm a pirate. All right. I'm guessing that I don't want to run into the TNT. Let's just see. Yeah, okay. As expected, not great for my long-term health. Also, I'm thinking if I hit the fire, I'm dead. No, I'm good. Okay, never mind. So I guess we'll just go like that? That, I mean, that was pretty easy. What's the compass for then? I guess like we, we kind of established, there's there's multiple paths to success. There's a boxing glove. Am I just gonna knock this dude out? Cause that would be pretty awesome. So wait a second. If I go down around the ball and then into the glove. Oh, I thought for sure we could put the glove on. All right, never mind. I, I'm guessing I can't just grab the stake. Yeah, okay, yep, that, that's for sure. All right, I guess maybe I just go under and then grab it like that he was looking right at the stake how how would he not notice also he's i'm i'm the loser here because i did just grab a steak off of a burning stove or barbecue 
so dumb. See, the boxing gloves could have served two purposes. Taking out the dude cooking the steak and also protecting your hands from getting burned. This dude really wants a present. I'm thinking we go this way. I don't even know what that thing is that like we're using to bend our arm. It looks like a car piston or something. <laughs> Where are we? What kind of room is this? It's got a saw blade bouncing back and forth. Are we in a lumber mill? Just a weird scene. Fish. I love buckets of fish. Yeah, you just go around the ball, right? Yeah. Professional bucket of fish borrower. <laughs> Woohoo! Cooking up some fish. Have you ever eaten a fish like that? I always see that in like shows where they got like the, the fish just like skewered on a... Why did I say skewered? Where they got the fish like skewered on the stick and then the stick is like planted in the ground over a fire and then it's just kind of getting cooked entirely whole. Like, I can't imagine that tastes great. But I guess in a desperate situation, you're eating whatever you can. It's probably a great source of, of food. But like going out of my way to eat fish on a stick, probably not my thing. Probably not my thing. Okay, this seems dangerous. What are we doing? I go around the light. The laser stops. Man, what a what an oversight on the, the security department. You just come on, guys. Just send the laser across the entire room. Problem solved. I'm like a white hat hacker. You guys know like that term? Cause there's like black hat hackers, right? They're like guys who hack and like get important data and get access to websites that they shouldn't have access to and servers and internal documents, stuff like that. But then white hat hackers are people that businesses hire to like test their security, their like internet security. So they'll actually send them out to like look for vulnerabilities in their system and then you know fix them but that's that's kind of like what i just did for these people i was like you guys should have just sent the laser across the room i'm helping you out here no more diamonds but i'm gonna keep this diamond by the way oh gosh just a mace swinging in the middle of the street <laughs> i really want that cake why is cake the only thing that that you can find to eat Oh, no! Oh, my gosh. I, I went too far. All right. Just going to try that again. We just got to wait for the mace to get out of the way. There you go. All right. My cake now. This dude loves cake. Why do you need the whole cake? Can't you just take a slice? Just leave the rest of the cake for the, for the other guy? All right. I would prefer that my arm does not get crushed. So we're just going to have to time this. Grab it. Go, 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 go. All right. No problem. Pro. Cheer up. I wasn't sad. I'm I'm totally fine. Or are you talking about the guy <laughs> who just lost his ball? Yeah. Cheer up, bud. You, there'll be more, probably. Okay, what's what's going on here? So we just need to get the car, but we have to time it so that we don't get hit with the ball. Okay, go. Go, go, go. Faster. All right, we got this. I like it, because like sometimes the puzzles are kind of like thinkers, and other times it's very obvious what you need to do, but you must execute on on a 100% precision. That's, that's not true. Probably more like 70% precision. What's going on here? Obviously, my guy is very cold. He needs a jacket, but th this thing at the bottom of the screen is kind of freaking me out. I'm, I'm guessing if I just reach across the screen, it's going to shoot me. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's a, just a freeze ray, you know. It's rude. So I guess we just go around using this log? Come on, come on, go, go all the way, there you go. Grab that jacket, warm up, you're good to go. And the other dude's gonna freeze. Sorry, <laughs> he totally did. Ooh, that's gonna look great on Instagram. Okay, we've got a fog machine. Interesting. So do we use the, the fog to like, to secretly grab the crown? Is that the play? I think that's the play. Let's see. Go. Okay, I it worked. I kind of want to see what happens if we don't have the fog. Hold up. Let's just go. Grab it. Yeah, okay, they see it. The, oh my gosh, just got drop kicked by a security guard. I feel like the failure scenes are half the fun. And I love that the dude, like, who is protecting whatever the object is, always just has fire in his eyes. He is protecting that crown with 
every ounce of energy he has. He's gonna open the door for this dude before he eats your brains. There you go. Yep. Perfect. It's a lot of barbed wire. That's also a very mean looking dog. Um, obviously we need to go around the barbed wire. I kind of want to see what happens if we fail though. We got to try. It just, okay. Well, but what if, okay. What if I put my hand right into the mouth of a dog? So he just ate my whole hand. There it goes. There goes your stretch ability. Okay, so we can just go around and then grab the pot of gold. There you go. See ya. Or not. Dog found a way out of the fence. Again, this dude just loves cake. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Can we just, is it just a straight shot? <laughs> that, why was that so easy? I gotta know what happens if I go into the fan blades though. Let's see. Oh, you just, he just notices. Okay, fair enough. What if I hit the, the potted plant? I don't know why the potted plant is there. That's the weird part. It doesn't do anything. It really is just a straight shot. All right. All right, treasure. Oh, of course, we have deadly jumping fish. Um, I guess we're going to use the kite, which is weird because how would that like hold my arm? I don't know. Try not to think about the physics of the whole situation. You just get that treasure. Congratulations to me. All right. Greatest prison escape ever. How are we going to do this? We use the lamp probably and then just come around. Oh, watch out for the girder. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Can I go all the way? Yeah, that's the play right there. Grab that key. We out. The dog is looking right at us though. So uh, unless you're faster than that dog, you're probably not getting too far. Late. My guy is late. How do we help him get to wherever he's gonna go quickly? We remove any distractions like a cell phone, of course. There you go, I'm helping you out, dude. Get to where you need to go. You late for work, just start running. Look both ways before you cross the street though. See ya. This lady looks dangerous. She looks like she's like a spy or something. Uh, let's just see what happens if, if we mess up. Oh, she just, she just laughs at us. Or she has a really bad stomach ache. That coffee finally hitting the system, isn't it? All right, we'll go around. That's fine. Just take that, all right. Mmm. Uh, she has a bat. This guy is loving whatever he's watching on TV right now. He's watching Henry Stickman. The Adventures of Henry Stickman. That's a show. That would be awesome. Anyways, let's let's try to grab this little bag of gold. Uh, probably use this thing to just grab it like that. Yeah, there you go. Enjoy your Henry Stickman compilation. I'm out. Hmm. We must free the dog. I don't have the key though. Okay, so so maybe I can just grab the door and just I can totally just open the door without the key. Okay, that's impressive. Yeah, get him! No, that's my bouquet of flowers. How dare you! All right, I'm finding a way. I think we go up, over, and then probably just straight down. Use the apple, and then slowly. slowly. Oh, there you go. Nailed it. Enjoy your twig, dummy. He just got smacked. No cell phones. This is a work environment. Okay, how are we, how are we gonna shut this guy up? They probably just go up. Yeah, that's that's it right there. Boom. Nailed it. Get back to work, fella. What is that? Oh, it's a it's a diamond earring. I thought it was like perfume. Okay, I gotta figure this out though. We we gotta use the smoke, right? Oh, go. Oh, <laughs> I got hung up. Oh, man. Oh, she's got the fire in her eyes. You, She will just knock down that tree with her bare hands. Guaranteed. You're done, buddy. Oh, no. How long has this guy been drifting in the frozen winter land? Poor dude. He must be cold, too. All right, we got it. I, I see the, the freeze ray at the bottom of the screen. So I'm hoping that we can use some of these like floating ice caps. Can we? Okay, yes, we can. All right, we'll just we'll we'll just nab that, warm ourselves up, get some food in the belly. Uh, I hope that wasn't your only pot of soup. Tennis. 
the, how, okay, how do you find yourself in this situation? Your friend invites you to come play tennis because tennis is not very fun by yourself, right? Unless you have like a wall. I guess you can like practice against a wall. But for the most part, you want to play tennis against another person. Your friend invites you to come play tennis. Dude comes with two rackets. You have no racket. So he's like, I'll bring two. And then doesn't offer to give you the other racket. Who's really the loser? I think everybody here is the loser. Your friend is just a jerk. Frankly, inviting you to come play tennis. But... He knows you don't have a racket, so he holds on to both of his rackets so so he can do what with them? Just hit balls into outer space? No, we're fixing this. This is how we resolve the situation. You give me your racket. Why are you so mad? You invited me to play tennis. What a psycho. Oh, I hate it when my wife gets abducted by aliens. I better save her what? using the moon. We got this? Yeah, there you go. All right. She's mine, not yours, aliens. Well, this is a terrible situation. Why are these dogs so protective of this one present? It's, just, it's mine now. Got it. No. Oh. Well, that's bad. Can I just go straight for it? Nope. I got this. Boom. That's the ticket. See ya. Okay, this is a very practical ability when you think about it. I hate going into like parking structures and you have to like press a button to lift the gate thing because probably like three out of four times I'm I'm, I'm like a slightly out of reach of the button and then I have to like open my car door and like take off my seatbelt and I lean over and it's like to tweak something in my back. What if I just had stretchy arms? It would save that whole situation. Okay, never mind. Um, that oof. let's go around. <laughs> yeah. Great plan. Excellent. All right. I've never seen a parking garage or like a parking lot with a with with the arm that also has like a hydraulic press that will just crush you into oblivion if you don't press the button. It's a little excessive. I've seen the ones that they always they always kind of freak me out. Those claws that stick out of the ground. You guys know what I'm talking about? They're like they're like spikes. That, that stick out of the ground, but they only face one direction. So basically, they prevent a car from rolling over them in a certain direction. If you go over them on the right direction, they'll just squish down into the ground. If you go over them in the wrong direction, they will tear your tires into shreds. What if you're just, like, confused and lost and you accidentally go the wrong way? You're not trying to do anything crazy and... All four of your tires just get turned into Swiss cheese? It's a nightmare. Anyways, what's what's going on here? Oh, she's she's tied up. We need to save her. Okay, I can do that. There. All right, you're saved. And now I found love. Oh wow. All right. We're we're looking for vulnerabilities in their security system, and I think we found it. If there happens to be a thief that has the power to stretch his arms in any direction as long as they're objects to bend his arms around you guys are in trouble you need to think about everything why is this guy so happy oh he's happy because he got away from me not <laughs> so much rage the fire in his eyes oh let's save this dude oh gosh that's a lot of piranhas okay can i just just do that look at that that was quite the little maneuver. Threading the needle. All right, we're, we're, I guess we're going to swap papers. Um, apparently, coincidence, both of us are named Harry with an A, like H-A-R-Y. This isn't normally H-A-R-R-Y. I don't know, whatever. I'm not the Harry police. <laughs> I think I have to go down and use the chairs. Yeah. All right. It's mine now. Now I don't have to fill out this boring paperwork. We're just sitting at a bank, like, filling out all our personal information. I'm just going to use the other Harry's. It's very convenient for me. What is happening here? This guy is so sure of himself. Probably because he has two very scary dogs and he's standing on some kind of platform. How do you find yourself in this scenario, though? That's what I want to know. It's a very strange scenario. All right, maybe I can get behind this dog. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Nice. Nice. Got it. Boom. No problem. We out. That's a lot of TNT. All right. I'm guessing that the cardboard boxes, which <laughs> when you think about it, like, okay, we're pirates in the whatever, like, when, do, when were pirates like a thing? Like pirates like this, driving on, like floating in the sea. Like pirates of the Caribbean style, right? Like 1600s, 1700s. Why do they have like cardboard moving boxes? I, I, I feel like that was not something that was just around in the 1700s. Sure, barrels full of, of like explosive material. That was probably something that you'd see, but the moving boxes taped with <laughs> like movers tape doesn't really fit the pirate theme. <laughs> Whatever, I got my treasure. Oh, this guy really likes this other guy's hair. He wants it for himself. Let's take it. That's my toupee. Yeah, much cooler hair. Oh no, he was just mad that the guy was wearing a toupee. What a what a weird thing to be mad about. Okay, so I understand what's happening here. I think that the clothes that are laying on the ground are the only clothes that this guy has. And we're gonna take them. And that's gonna put him in a very awkward situation. Let's go around this way, I think. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Boom, nailed it. Sorry, bud. You're gonna be in there for a while. Or there's always some plants. Prison escape time. How am I gonna do this? I think, yeah, I can use this chair, right? Okay, it's very close. That is very scary how close my arm was to that spiky ball of death. But we got it. I don't understand. I need to like, oh, is this like a wanted thing? Like a wanted poster and I have to get rid of it? I don't, what am I even trying to do? I, I really don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. I'm gonna go around the lamp and then take... I have to take them off. I, I don't know what to do. Okay, wait, no, maybe I take them all? Take just this one? This one. Take them all. And then they'll never know that I'm the bad guy or something. I don't really know what that was. I'm very cold. Um, I, okay. I'm guessing that I have to Go around. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, we ha we have to go around both of the freeze rays. So I think this is the way to do it. Yeah, there you go. All right. That was quite the path there, but uh, I'm feeling a lot better. Feeling much warmer. Please stop singing. We have to take the microphone to make this man stop what he's doing. This is very important. We're going all the way around. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That was awesome. Well done. Oh, and we even taped his mouth shut while while we were out there. <laughs> the umbrella, really? That's going to save you? That's what you need, huh? All right. Just some shade. My guy just needs some shade. That's it. All right. Much better. Dang, that was 50 levels? I'm very impressed with myself.